Bandang araw ka. So ngayon, magkaroon tayo ng review on scientific rotation and significant figures. So review lang po kasi nakuha nyo naman na ito ng maayos ko. Okay, so a scientific rotation is a way of writing very large or very small numbers using the expression c times 10 to the n where c is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. So, using interval notation, it's close interval 1, open interval 10. So, hindi pwede yung 10, yung mas mababa sa 10. Ano yung mas mababa sa 10? Hindi natin alam. No? So, basta, mas mababa siya sa 10. So, pwede 9.995, 9.99. So, kaya hindi natin alam kasi infinitely many more. Basta dapat less than 10 or equal to or greater than 1. And n is a positive, ay, n is an integer rather. n is an integer. So, yung very large or very small numbers, gagawin lang natin ganito yung forma, c times 10 to the n. Okay? So, dalawa lang yung gagawin natin. No? I-determine kung ano yung c mula dito sa interval notation na to at yung value ng n which is an integer as I mentioned earlier. Now, n is positive if the decimal point is moved to the left and n is negative if the decimal point is moved to the right. So examples, we have here 246 million. Note that the decimal point is at the end of this zero. No? So we will have to move the decimal point how many times? Okay, the cursor is missing. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 times to the left. So, mula sa number na to, dito sa number 1, mamimili, I'm looking for the cursor, it's missing. Okay, mamimili tayo ng value ng C. Hindi pwedeng 0.246 kasi dapat uh, greater than or equal to 1. Hindi rin pwedeng 24.6 kasi may violation ng interval notation rule natin. So, ang correct value ng C ay 2.46. No? And since the decimal point has been moved to the left, it's positive 8. No? So, the value of N is positive. So, we now have 2.46 times 10 to the 8. So, this one is 32,879. Again, the decimal a point is at the end, so after the number 9, the digit 9. So we choose our C, and our C from among this is 3.2879. Kasi nga dapat greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. So 3.8279, and then the decimal point is moved to the left. How many times? 4 times. So 1, 2, 3, Four. So we have 3.2879 times 10 to the fourth power. Okay, in this one we have uh, 0 0.0000147. So again, we get to choose our C. So our C is 1.47. So hindi pwedeng 0.147, hindi rin pwedeng 14.7, hindi pwedeng 147. Bakit? Dapat nandito sa range na ito. Uh, close interval 1, open interval 10. So our C is 1.47. And since we move the decimal point to the right six times, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 1.47 times 10 to the negative 6. And then we have this. So again, choosing our C to be 8.023. So we move the decimal point to the right three times. One, two, three. So we have 8.023 times 10 to the negative 3. So again, uh, pagka meron tayong very large or very small numbers, pwede natin express no, using C times 10 to the N, which is a scientific notation. So ang unang ginagawa ay yung pagpili ng C. Piliin muna yung C. Gamitin lang yung rule na to. Close interval 1, open interval 10. Okay? And then, kung umumove sa left, positive yung end. Kung umumove sa right, negative. So, pansinin nyo naman, pag may, 
pag i-move mo yung decimal point to the right, yung mga numbers na yun ay less than 1. No? Kaya dapat negative, dapat walang conflict. Okay? So I hope na-review yung scientific notation. And then we go to significant figures. So significant figures are the number of digits in a value or in a measure, no? in, in, in an observation. Often a measurement that contribute to the degree of accuracy of the value. No? So maraming significant figures no? mas, mas ano, accurate yun yung sinasabi. So ano yung mga rules? Pa, sa pagbibilang o sa pag-identify ng number of significant figures, all non-zero numbers are significant. So, all non-zero numbers are significant. So, in this example, 33.2 has three significant figures kasi walang, uh, lahat sila ay non-zero. Zeros between two, number two rule, zeros between two non-zero digits are significant. So, the number 2051 has four significant figures because the digit zero is between two non-zero digits two and five. Leading zeros are not significant. So these are zeros in numbers less than one. So they are just place holders. No? So for example, the number 0.54, the number 0.54 has only two significant figures. Those are the digits five and four. Zero here is just a place holder. The number 0 0.0032 also has two significant figures yung 3 at saka 2 because 0, 0.00 are just placeholder. So all the zeros there are leading and they are not significant. Lastly, trailing zeros to the right of the decimal point are significant. So meaning that um, final zero to the right of the decimal point is significant. So the number 92.00 has four significant figures because these two zeros are to the right of the decimal point and they are both significant. So pagka mag-a-add naman at pag multiply mag-divide, no? take note of the number of significant figures. Sa final answer, ang sinusunod yung pinakamaliit na number of significant figures. So here we have these examples, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So all these are non-zero digits. So all of these are significant. So we have five significant figures. Number 2, 78.02. The zero is between two non-zero digits. So we have four significant figures. For number 3, 1.00, the trailing zeros are zeros to the right of the decimal point and both zeros are significant. So 1.00 has three significant figures. This, for number four, we have 0 0.008 has only one significant figure, which is the number eight, because all zeros here are just placeholders and they are not significant. For number five, we have 0 0.00088 zero this has two significant figures the digits eight and zero this zero is the final digit to the right of the decimal point this is the decimal point and therefore it is significant whereas all the zeros here are just placeholders are and are insignificant okay so for number six we have three point zero zero one i'm looking for the cursor it's again missing so 3.001, so the zeros are between two non-zero digits and therefore they are significant. So for number six, we have four significant figures. Okay, for number seven, because there is a decimal point there, 540, therefore the zero, the last zero is significant. So we have three significant figures. Again, the cursor is missing. And for the last example, 540, since there is no decimal point, zero here is insignificant. And therefore, we only have two significant figures. Okay? Hope that uh, serves as a good review for you for scientific notation and significant figures. Thank you for listening. And till next time, class, bye for now. Please practice self-love and self-care. Bye for now. See you when I see you.